During this video segment, I'm going to give an overview of the Dyno Production Assistant application. It's a lightweight program that runs on a PC. It integrates into the Dyno as well as a Summit system in the sense that it can look into any of the highlight clips or any of the assets that have been created with the Dyno system or a Summit for that matter and be able to manage that content through a very easy user interface that allows a producer or any type of a director or people who are interested in the content that's being created in a live production situation to be manipulated in a way that you can transfer to other summit systems or to a USB uh, disk drives or in general be able to help out with the overall production. So let's take this by sections. To begin with, when we look at the application here, there's a menu bar along the top. This menu bar is a good indicator of the many different features like a toolbox that can be done in Dyno Production Assistant. Assets can be viewed from multiple Dyno systems and summits and transferred between the different systems. You can create playlists, you can edit the playlists, you can set up rules so that say for instance those Dyno highlight clips that we're making that have a rating on them of three stars, those can be searched within this environment as well as rules set up so that when a search is made it can automatically be sent to a repository or some other type of folder. You can also set up a, a search that's within the system. Browsing can be done in the uh, production assistant. You can even create subclips from uh, clips or record trains that are already going on in the dyno and take those clips and create playlists that can then be sent back to the dyno for playback. Let's go over these different sections that are in here. Let's talk about this area called the Navigator. In the Navigator, you actually can go in and you can look at the different Summit and Solo systems that are on the entire system that are on the network. So in this case, we've got a Summit called Summit Red. I'm looking at a session in here that's called uh, D-Video. It's the one that we've been using in today's uh, Dino session. And you can see that I have a bin opened in here. And in the bin, you can see the asset screen that's in the middle. In this screen, what you'll notice is I've got it set for primary angle. So just to do a tie in here, I'm going to go over here to the dyno, and I've selected an in point on a record train that's going on. And in this dyno system, if I'm the dyno operator, I do an add to highlight. You'll notice that it popped up here into the dyno production assistant asset screen. And from here, you'll start to see where the magic happens. Any clips that are done with metadata in here, for instance, I'm going to add the three-star rating to this clip along with some metadata in the term of uh, keywords. And then we'll change the, the name that's in here. And I'll just say this clip name is AAA. And then you'll see that all of those changes are read by the uh, Dino Assistant in here. I'm going to create a new clip from a record train that's happening on the dyno over here. You can see the integration between the dyno production assistant and a dyno system. I'm going to uh, add a highlight. You'll see that highlight comes up into the assistant. It's always out there looking at what's available. And then let's do this. Let's add in our three star rating. And you'll see that the three stars also show up with that clip as well. So this is a dynamic situation. I'm always looking at uh, content. And the great deal about the production assistant is that when you get into fairly complex uh, types of arrangements where you have multiple summits and dynos, you can have a producer who's watching over the content. In fact, helping with the way that the content's going to be used, whether you want to uh, take that uh, content and transfer it to another summit uh, for an operator, or you're going to keep that content and put it onto a USB drive, you can set up repositories inside the uh, uh, production assistant in order to do that. Another thing you can do with the Dino Production Assistant is there's a browser built in so that you can load a clip into this browser screen. This is a high res screen. From here you can play the clip. Uh, you can actually create sub clips that can be put back in and then transferred over to another spot. You can also take and examine that sub clip. Once it's in here there's an information area that allows you to examine uh, what the keywords are, what the rating is, and the various other attributes and properties of the clip itself. So as we work around here on our tour, there are other screens that are built into Production Assistant. I keep calling them tools because they really are that. If I want to take a clip and uh, transfer it to another uh, spot, all you really do is you take the clip and I can transfer it, for instance, over to a default bin that's over on that summit. I'll do that for safekeeping. And at that time, 
I can go into my uh, active transfers and you'll notice that it gives me an indication that that clip is uh, transferring and then uh, when that's all done I've taken care of that. What's great about Dyno Production Assistant is from a producer standpoint I'm taking care of uh, all these clips while the event is going on the dyno operators are still doing uh, their job and this is all happening in the background. All of the bandwidth is, uh, is managed uh, in, in a quality of service operation. So other things that can be done inside the uh, dyno production assistant is creating playlists. So you can create playlists and they include transitions so that I can create playlists that I'm going to use later on or I want to put together a highlight package and give that back to a uh, dyno operator who's probably busy doing their replay job. Another aspect of the Dyno Production Assistant is the ability to take over uh, controls of, of what we call managed channels. So down in this managed channels area, what I can do is I can take over a channel. Let's say an operator uh, needs to excuse themselves and be out, or maybe they can't find a clip. I can actually take a clip that is over here in the uh, asset bin and I'm just going to help out the, uh, the operator. I'm going to load that clip. I've taken over their channel of control. And I can press play from here and play that clip. Now you can see that the Dyno Production Assistant is a fully integrated content management system to use with your Dyno replay solutions from Grass Valley.